Right. Uh, so this is a brief overview uh, about ERP Next. So let me just go to home. So ERP Next comes with the point of sale. It comes with inventory management. It comes with uh, accounting. Uh, it also comes with assets. You can also manage our assets from here. It also comes with uh, buying, which is the buying of our raw materials. And then CRM, which is the customer relationship management. And then HR, uh, we also have got a payroll. We also have got loan. This is mainly loan to employees. Uh, we also have got manufacturing. We also have got uh, projects, under projects. I think that's where we'll be focusing more on uh, projects. We can, we can talk about projects, uh, project tasks. Uh, we also have got quality controls, retail. So this is like the point of sale. We click on it. We can go to, we have to go to point of sale. Uh, but let me not go there now. Let me just close it. Let me go back to home. Uh, we also have got selling. This is where we also be doing our sales, our quotations, our sales invoice, etc. Also our sales person, if we have got sales department. Uh, we also have got stock. This is where we'll be entering all the items that we buy from our suppliers. Uh, so when you are raising your invoices or when you are receiving goods from your suppliers, uh, you need to pick which project uh, is the item falling under. So I can click on project here. So here there are some two projects that are already running. You can click on add project, add in full form. So here you enter the project name. You enter the date where the project is going to start and where it's expected to end. Uh, we also enter the percentage method that you are going to measure the project. We also have got the customer. If the project is for the customer, we enter the customer name uh, for the project. Uh, we also enter some costing and billing, estimated costing for the project, a uh, monitor progress. So you can collect progress here. You enter the the progress said that you can say daily project or twice a day if you select daily you also enter the daily updates here for the project also we can see our profits so i can go on accounting there and then uh, under accounting we have got several reports we have our chart of accounts our journal entries etc etc also we've got the uh, uh, customers also account receivable which is the data so we're also able to see who owes us money and how much they owe us. So currently these are the data that are showing uh, and the total that they are owing, the total that they pay and the total outstanding amount. And also the age analysis. Also we've got 70 days, 63 days, etc, etc. Let me go back. Uh, so we also have got our financial statements. So if I click on profit and loss there, we can see our profit and loss here. So we can, if you want to see our profit and loss by project, I just simply click there, enter the project name, and then it's showing us that there is no expenses or income for this project for this year. Uh, it's because I haven't entered anything on this project. Let me go back to home. So here we also have got our cash flow statement. So we can see here, this is the movement of cash in and out of the business. So it's showing you uh profit for the year net cash from operating activities etc etc uh let me go back to home again uh let me just try to raise an invoice for certain customer so i go on invoice so these ones are invoices that have been done and those are unpaid and those are overdue so i click on add invoice to add a new invoice and then customer let's say the customer is a new customer we haven't dealt with the customer before uh, so let's say we are invoicing uh, we are invoicing Sandra so I send Sandra I click on new customer so we enter the customer group with the Sandra is it a government institution is it an individual is it a non-profit organization so we can add these groups uh, you can put groups of your choice so let me say just uh, this one is an individual we can also select territories whether this person is in Zimbabwe or Harare or Blawai, we can classify them. And then here I come and invoice 
uh, the person that you want to raise invoice for, maybe you can say consultation services. I can click on save. So I need to enter this consultation as an item that we are selling. Uh, this was not there in the system. So here I can enter maybe we charge the six dollars, uh, charge the six hundred. And you also want to enter the project. Maybe it's falling under St. John's project. And then I click on save. Then I submit. So here if I go under projects, I should be able to see uh, under profits here. And then project. If I select St. John's. So you can see under St. John's, you can see the project profit is $600. There are no expenses and this is the total profits. And then I want to go to stock management. Under stock management, I can click on stock there. We have got purchase receipt. This is when we receive goods from our supplier. So let me start with receiving goods from supplier. Uh, we enter the supplier name that we have supplied as the goods. Uh, maybe we got these goods from OK Limited. So if OK Limited is not in the system, I first need to enter OK Limited. So I select whether OK Limited, which type of group is he in. Let me just say he's in local. Uh, I scroll down here. Here we need to enter the warehouse that is receiving these goods. Assuming we are going to be having a lot of warehouses. And then I enter the code. So let's say we bought some cement. I enter cement there. We received uh, 300 pegs. And we bought them at $7. And then here I can click on save and then submit. Right, uh, so that's our infant. Uh, I go back again on stock here. Uh, we want to see the stock balances. So it's going to show us uh, the stock that we have in the system. So here, let me just adjust this column. So here it's showing us uh, quantity in. We have got cement 300. Uh, we have got other things. These are the quantities that we have in. So when each time the item moves out, it will be written out here and the balance will be showing here in the warehouse that the item is stored in. So basically that's all about stock. If I do a stock movement, I need to go on stock transfer. So I go on stock here and then I go on uh, material requests and then I create my material request. And then I say it's a materials issue. This is when we are moving uh, goods. Maybe a, maybe there is a certain department that have requested for cement to use at their at their site. I just enter cement here. And required date they need it today. Quantity they need ten here. And then project. Now I need to enter the project that is requesting for this. So Saint John's. And then I enter ten. I click on save and then submit. So that's how we take stock out of the business. And here it's saying pending. You need to come here and then you click on issue stock. And then you click on save and then submit. So now if there are many other departments that need to approve this, it will be waiting to be approved. Uh, let me just check if it has been approved. Right. So you can see here we have moved 10, 10 cement. So it has subtracted, we have received 30 and out it has subtracted 10 and now we are left with uh, 290 in stores is, the, is our warehouse. So basically that's all about stock. Uh, let me go back to home again. Uh, now I want to move on to I want to move on to profit and loss accounts. So I go to accounting. I go to profit and loss. So profit and loss here we are able to see all our profits uh, of the business, and this is the income, and these are the expenses, and this is the total profit for the year. Uh, I can also track profit by project. So here you can see uh, we have got that.